This is Todd Stone from Central Oregon Survival Network again. Hey, so this will be video three of the Homemade Armor Project. Um, going back to the phone books, and if you watched my first video, you'd see the concept of the Homemade Armor Project, which I'll actually link to this video. But on video two, uh, we had some issues with actually baking the phone books in wallpaper paste. Well, the wallpaper paste, no matter how thin we got it, wouldn't soak into the books and actually bake off and create the plate that we wanted it to create. So, pretty much skipped that process. We used just regular foam books without uh, actually baking them. So, what we've came up with is our final product. Uh, this is the actual homemade armor plate. We have foam books inside there. We also have the angle iron that I talked about. Everything was preheated and flashed. Temper a little bit. I know it isn't going to be like you know your high tempered steel, but it does harden the steel. So we did that to both sides and also the angle iron. Um, I broke it into four quadrants and we're going to actually test four different types of calibers on this on our video four. And we'll show you that coming up and see how it holds up. You know, of course, like I said, the big one's going to be the 223. We'll see how it works. It weighs about, about 20 pounds. I weighed it uh, square foot wise. Uh, I wanted to do it in a square foot because of the project I'm actually going to use this on so that I can get an estimation of weight. So the project that I'm, I'm actually building this for is going to be about a total of 185 pounds. But this is just a prototype and if you put it into a, a square foot, you know, take off, I know it's long, it's like 16 inches, but if you put it in about a square foot, roughly about 20 pounds per square foot. So, we're going to bring this out there and we're going to go ahead and shoot it and do a penetration test and see how it holds up. Alright, stay tuned for video 4 and I will link these all together and in the description I'll show you exactly what I used and kind of how I built it and the theory behind it. If you haven't watched video 1, again, watch video 1 gives you kind of the concept and the theory behind this homemade armor plate. Thank you for watching. I appreciate all your guys' support and everything you do for me. So, hope you guys like what you're seeing. And if you have comments, of course, yeah, good or bad. You know, if you don't like the video, don't like what I'm doing, you know, you can put a dislike on there if you want. That's fine. But, you know, give me some constructive criticism and say, hey, you know, you might want to try this or I did this or, you know, what are you doing? I don't, I don't care. Shoot me a comment. It's all good. So, hey, thank you. And I'll catch you on the flip side.